Hello and welcome back to a video tutorial series on doing analysis on some house data, house characteristics data. Uh, in the previous video we compared price to school. We made histograms on the same scale for the two district uh, school districts and found that the Apple Valley School District had slightly higher prices in general. And now I'm going to do a, a supplement to that same video. Instead of histograms, let's make dot plots. So I'm going to take only the price and school data, copy it, start highlighting and say shift control down arrow key, copy, control C, go to a blank worksheet. Let's paste them, let's say right there, control B. And now I want to sort this data. It's still selected, so if I go to data, sort by school district and I'll add a level and sort by price within school district. Okay, now let's take all these coded one are the Apple Valley uh, house, homes. Shift control down arrow key, control X to cut it and I'll paste that right there and then I'll delete column D, right click, delete. And now this is Eastville. Those were the ones coded zero. And this, these are Apple Valley. So these are the prices in each. I'm going to insert several columns here. Insert, or highlight the columns, insert. And then uh, I want to uh, round these prices. Actually, let's call this Eastville above. Eastville prices and then I want to round these. Now the reason I want to round these prices is that when I make my dot plot it'll allow for more clustering of the data. It'll look a little better that way. So in this form in this cell right here I type a formula. I say let me zoom in here equal round parentheses Grab the cell to the left, comma, zero, means it'll be rounded to zero decimal places or the nearest thousand dollars. Double click the lower right corner, and there we go. These are all now rounded to the nearest thousand uh, dollars. Just a quick side note here, I do not want to format the, these cells. For example, if I go to home, highlight some cells and say format to zero decimals, that is not the same. Internally you could still you could see that there's actually more uh, accuracy showing. So that doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll undo what I just did there. Um, okay. Now I want to make a dot frequency count. I'll just call it frequency. Start with one in the first cell. Just type a one and now I'll Whenever there's repeating values, I want the dot count to go up. Otherwise, if it's a new value, just start over at 1. So I'm going to use an if-then if statement. Equal if. Grab the first, uh, the second cell. and say, is it equal to the first cell? If it is, then I should add 1 to the initial 1. Otherwise, start over at 1. There we go. Now, uh, to save some time here, I'm going to just copy this much over, paste it right here, and then highlight these two cells down, and it is doing everything correctly. I'll make a dot plot out of these two columns, insert, scatter, and uh, let's clean it up a little bit, get rid of the legend, Get rid of the grid lines, get rid of the y-axis, squeeze this a bit. Let's cut the whole thing and paste it near the top over here. And uh, okay, I know that this is a now a dot plot of Eastville home prices, selling prices. Okay, I can rescale this, but I'll do another dot plot next. Let's make a dot plot for Apple Valley. Shift Control down arrow insert scatter first one 
and get rid of the legend, the grid lines, the y-axis, squeeze it a bit, cut it, and let's paste it right below the other one. Okay, and then I want it to have exactly the same shape, same scale, and they do. They're both from going from 0 to 200, I'm uh, sorry, 250, by increments of 50. Let's change that. I'll right click on an axis, format axis, um, go minimum, let's start at 50, maximum 200, let's go up by 25s. Okay, and same thing down here, right click, format, keep the scale the same so that it's easier to make a comparison. And I can sort of see that the Apple Valley prices are a bit higher, although there's a lot of overlap. But same thing that we saw in the histograms before. Uh, now I can clean this up a little bit, and I could add labels. I can add a you know a title above here or some comment that say these are dot plots of home prices, and I could do uh, like click on a plot and say insert text box. And then I could say that these are Eastville, for example. I can uh, do another one down here. Insert scatter, oh, sorry, insert text box. And these are Apple Valley. So again, I can clean this up a little bit more. I won't take the time to do that. Um, I got this a little bit. Okay, so somewhere I should have um, home prices or dot plots. Dot plots of home prices by school districts. Or school district. And I can copy that and paste it into a Word document. Okay. Um, so I would do a little bit more, but I said I won't do that. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Just another way to compare this a metric variable to a, a binary variable with dot plots, but we also did it with histograms before. We, saw, we see a couple of big outliers in each school district, but again, generally Apple Valley, a bit more normal shaped, a little bit skewed right though. Uh, this is more skewed right for Eastville. That's it.